What do you say, Fight Club? We got another undercard fight. Are you ready for your next undercard fight of the night? Yeah. All right, introducing first, their gender identities, a lot like their comedy career. Nobody really believes in it. It's Marty! What's up, Marty? How are you doing tonight? Good. I'm confused about my gender. <laughs> you ready for this fight? I am. All right, we're gonna be your opponent now. He grew up in a small town where he was known as the gay one, Josh Lampley. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that, bro? Well, we all know you told me to let me pick your song tonight. So. I did, and I instantly regret it. Pretty <laughs> sick track, though. I'll, I'll lean into that energy tonight. <laughs> How you feeling tonight, Josh? I'm good, I'm good. I'm ready to bring a bro country style comedy routine Hell to the CFC yeah. room. I'm excited about that. Five jokes, tip or tat, Madi, Josh, which one of you two would like to go first? I can go first. Right. Marty's going first. Josh is going second. Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready for this fight? Yeah. Five jokes starting with Marty. This fight starts now. Josh, I'd say thank you for skipping leg day to be here tonight, but it looks like you've been doing that for years. <laughs> Josh works in advertising, smokes a lot, and drinks a lot, so he's kind of like Don Draper's... Uh, uh, dumber, uglier, far less successful little brother, Ron Raper. <laughs> Marty is Italian, Irish, non-binary, and trans. The rare quadruple minority. <laughs> Marty's dead name was actually Paul Gia Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Fagrid. <laughs> Josh grew up on a farm in Tennessee, which is a life that I'm not very familiar with. So I did some research and ended up finding one of Josh's exes. When I asked her about him, uh, this is actually what she had to say. So, what was Josh like when he was in high school? He cheated on you with pig. That's her. That's her. <laughs> um, Madi was born in a bathtub. And now when they perform, they bath bomb. Am I right? <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> That's pro country comedy. Pro country comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tarzan the Rape Man. <laughs> Moving from Tennessee to New York City was an adjustment for a southern boy like Josh. He's having a hard time living in a city so far away from any kind of farm life. So not only is his neck red, but his balls are blue. Oh, bro! This guy stinks! Monty claims to be a picky eater. Uh, which doesn't explain their divorced, bisexual, 30-something-year-old girlfriend. Ew, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Good one, Captain Jack, spare some change. That's all right. Uh, Josh is in a lot of medical debt, but it's not his fault that his insurance doesn't cover bodega pre-rolls and, and uh, Mountain Dew Code Red. That's yeah. true. It doesn't. Uh oh, Reaper alert! <laughs> <laughs> uh, bleached their hair to look less feminine and more like a Brooklyn fuckboy. And, and it worked, uh, now they look like them and them. You look like your one shot was testosterone. <laughs> I might have more than you. <laughs> Josh, Josh, call, Josh, Josh likes to call himself Frat Jesus. Josh, the only thing that you and Jesus have in common is coming early in a barn. Yeah, that's Thank fair. You. That's fair. That's a good fucking job. That, that, that is fair. Yeah, that was good. Um, Madi actually has a great rack. <laughs> yeah, They've actually been struggling to find a top surgeon because all the doctors in New York are fucking national heroes. Am I right, boys? Protect those sweater puppies. Am I right, boys? Tits, 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 tits. They are bigger than your girlfriend. <laughs> True. Fight Club, give it up for Josh and Marty! 
Hell yeah, this is like the problematic employee getting called into HR. <laughs> We're going to start with you guys, Fight Club. Do you think the winner of this fight is Josh Lampley? <laughs> or is the winner of this fight, Marty? Yes. <laughs> that mark goes to Josh Lampley. Joe Gorman, we'll come over to you. What do you think? Hell yeah, I love that fight. I thought it was a lot of fun. Marty, I love your shoes, by the way. I think those are fucking awesome. I would vote for you. Uh, unfortunately... Josh, you had that them and them joke, which which hit so hard because that's a that's a play on popular rap star Eminem, <laughs> and Eminem has bleached hair like our friend Maddie, so it, it fucking works so well. <laughs> Josh, that was good. It's almost like it's been written a hundred times before. Has it been? Yes. This changes everything. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that true? Well, then I'm double voting for it. <laughs> That was so powerful to make it seem organic and in the moment. This is performance art 101. I guess you showed us how we do it down south, man. Robbie Goodwin. Uh, it would be so envy without me. Uh, <laughs> Eminem. Uh, yeah, this is good. This was Russell Bland versus uh, liberal arts Justin Bieber. So I enjoyed that. You are truly non-binary because when you went up, you had a bunch of stickers on your phone. But then you immediately bullied him for skipping leg day. So I was like, I don't know where the hell this is going. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I really liked at the end when you were uh, uh, hateful and problematic. So I'm going to give it to you, man. There's another vote for Josh Fluke, you, man. Oh, man. Uh, first off, both of y'all are uh, way too stylish for this stage. <laughs> you, need to start to, you need to start looking more like homeless gym teachers. <laughs> too distracting, as Joe said. Those shoots, killing it. Bonnaroo hoodie, cool hair, uh, stealing jokes I've heard before. <laughs> yeah, I was a little annoyed because I think I've heard uh, someone say faggot before, but then I was more annoyed at me for doing comedy long enough to care about it. <laughs> so it was really all on, all on me. Um, yeah, I think Josh had a couple uh, more punches there, so I'll give this to Josh. Another vote for Josh, Gabby Jordan Brown. Who do we think was the first person to say uh, faggot? <laughs> Because they probably like, I mean, they had a banger back then, you know. <laughs> like, I think it was Harry. I think it was Harry Potter. It was probably <laughs> so exciting. Thirty two K. Rowling trying to play as she was writing her books. <laughs> she wrote that on a napkin in a bar, but in England originally. The Duffel Duel was getting butt fucked. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think about this. Um, Josh, you won. <laughs> I think, but I did love that one of the jokes, you just complimented Maddie's hot girlfriend and ended it on there. And then I got to remember what Maddie's girlfriend looked like. And I was like, this is a nice moment. <laughs> so, um, you know what? You won, great job. Another vote for Josh. You all know how to get the lesbian vote now. <laughs> Sienna, it's wrapped up and your final thoughts on the fight. I feel like Maddie's joke, the Jesus bar joke, was the best joke. I, I, not, no one laughed, but it was a great. <laughs> I thought it was a fantastic joke. Um, I would have given it to Madi, but you know, I'll stick with you, my fellow gay. <laughs> there is a vote for Madi. Fight, fight, a very fun fight. Give it up for your winner, Josh Lamplay.